Hello everyone, welcome to our Facebook Live. I'm Nazmo Sakif, Global Operations Manager of TCL Global. Today we have very special guest. I want to mention that really very special guest for us. It's Ajat Rahman, Regional Advisor from Bangladesh Region of Cardiff Metropolitan University. Thank you Ajat Bhai for joining with us. Uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Sakib Bhai, and uh, for inviting me here as a guest. And I feel really proud uh, to be here today. So uh, my name is uh, Azad Rahman. I am a regional advisor for Bangladesh at Cardiff Metropolitan University. And today we'll uh, discuss uh, regarding our uh, academic requirements, our fees, our facilities, and scholarship policies, all, all details, and for facilities, all details. Uh, so uh, please be our step with us at the end of the session and if you have any questions then you can ask at the end of the uh, end session so first of all uh, we'll uh, we, we'll see a short video for our uh, university so please stay with us so may maybe there is some technical problem so uh, we can continue yeah our, we can try uh, later on i think later on uh, we'll try yeah. to show yeah. our yeah. videos so Ajay, would you please here. give us a uh, short intro about the Cardiff Metropolitan University this location and about the university, a short intro. Yeah, yes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Sakib, and uh, a special thanks to TCL Global again. So Cardiff Metropolitan University uh, is a public university and it's situated in the heart of Cardiff City, the capital city of Wales. Mainly. And uh, 1865, the university was established first time. and 1992, uh, it, it got, this university was at a university startup first time. And currently, Cardiff Metropolitan University has three campuses within the three kilometer radius of central Cardiff area, and uh, including the facilities uh, with the famous indoor uh, national stadium athletic center, the National Lawn Tennis Association, and uh, swimming complex as well, the student union, bar, uh, the cafes, etc. So now uh, I will mention some uh, vital point or some uh, good point uh, why student will choose Cardiff Metropolitan University. So Cardiff Met is one of the top ranked modern university uh, in UK by uh, by all major league tables and uh, ranked top university in the in the UK for international student support for a consecutive six time in a row. And uh, we have lots of accredited courses. Uh, we'll uh, mention later that one. And it has a silver teaching excellence framework uh, rating and QAA rating as well. And um, another uh, most important thing is that uh, the low cost of living, as Cardiff is the most cost effective student city in the UK. And, uh, and that is certified by NatWest Student uh, Living 2019. And uh, we have excellent link with more than 5,000 industry and great option for internship for students. So, and another good point is that 90, more than 96% of our graduate employing employment for, for employment after their uh, graduation of six months, or they entry they are going for entry to uh, new courses or further study. And uh, this is the highest number in Wales among all universities. <coughs> So we have a world-class facilities with modern campuses, uh, as well uh, as capital city. Cardiff is one of the best places to live in UK with cosmopolitan and multicultural environmental environments with the experience from over more than 140 countries. So the basic uh, like uh, facilities or uh, information that uh, why students will choose Cardiff. Okay, thanks, Rajatvay. So uh, for the viewers, I want to say that who didn't join yet now, please join with us right now with the session with Cardiff Metropolitan University. This Kajat Roman is here. For any information, you can uh, mention the comment in your comment box, or you can contact with the number and the email address that is showing in your scroll of our screen. So please stay tuned with us and still learn about Cardiff Metropolitan University. So Ajat Bhai, so we know that very difficult time is now going on for COVID-19. Yeah. So actually, yeah. don't know what will happen for September 19 in text, September 20 in text. Nobody knows anything. <coughs> in this moment, for the running students, what's the planning for the Cardiff Metropolitan University? 
so uh, thank you and uh, currently we are going through pandemic situation by covid 19 and not only in uk or uh, bangladesh the whole world is suffering in this situation so we are hoping uh, this pandemic will be normal uh, before august or before that and uh, our students can continue their session on time at the moment we don't have a uh, like a uh, actual plan to cancel the uh, september 2020 session still we are uh, deciding that uh, with september 2020 intake will start one time but in case if not possible to start one time then maybe we can uh, like a uh, delay one month and uh, still that time students are not able to travel in our university or uk then uh, we'll run uh, uh, in one line courses students can join one line primarily after that they can uh, apply for visa and join our course one time on campus yeah so Ajita, in this uh, uh, case i have one question that i want to know that you know that for high risk country like bangladesh if they start their courses online in september so in anyhow when the face to face class will be started from january that time if anyhow that visa will be rejected then what will be the issue so uh, there will be uh, some good policy uh, we don't know the actual policy yet but uh, you know the uh, visa immigration department they already aware about that and they permitted these issues so i think there will be no issues uh, regarding their visas in, uh, if their uh, fund is available there and cash letter is okay i think and they they they, uh, they are able to uh, like uh, giving their interview positively so I don't think so. There will be an issue for visa because uh, universities and the visa department or immigration, they are well known about this situation and all they are permitted okay. for them. So uh, uh, I want to say that if anyhow the student needs the September intake, then definitely there's hope uh, for the student for the January intake. And especially we know that for academic university, there are lots of course for January intake. So do please uh, tell our viewers that what courses are available for January intake? So uh, mainly, normally, uh, we were running uh, some few master's courses uh, for January only and uh, drop up courses and the foundation from uh, January. But uh, in case we miss this September session, then obviously we'll run all most of our uh, master's courses in January. We don't know yet uh, whatever what will be for a bachelor because uh, it will be shorter uh, year if we run on January for bachelor is still on discussion with the management team. But uh, we can hope uh, most of our uh, master's courses will be run on January. But at the moment, uh, we are running a few uh, courses uh, for uh, January that I can mention here. Just uh, give me a second. <clears throat> So mainly we are running a MBA course uh, and uh, MSc Advanced uh, Computer Science course, MSc Data Science, MSc Information Technology Management, MSc Technology Project Management, MSc Food Science and Technology, MSc uh, International Hospitality and Tourism Management, MSc Event Project Management. These courses are currently we are running on uh, January and all these courses are coming with the internship or placement year. Oh, that's great. Uh, would you please mention for at least a uh, more subject that is with placement here? So currently we have, uh, I mentioned that subject, uh, all these are only the options for uh, placement years and another two courses we have with the uh, council two years, uh, but uh, not with the placement year. That is like uh, MSc Applied Public Health and MSc Occupational Health Safety and Wellbeing. These two courses are very, very popular in terms of uh, Bangladesh market because uh, doctors or health professionals, they are looking for this course. So we have uh, this course, uh, the duration is two years, but uh, first year it will be only taught courses and second year it will be research project only. So a student will have opportunity to uh, research one year with our uh, dedicated research team or PhD research team supervisor. Mm -hmm. So uh, they, they will not get any sort of internship opportunity for that, but obviously one year research. And the another vital point is that uh, we are the only university we are providing these two courses with research facilities in UK. And uh, the tuition fees for these two courses uh, will be only one year tuition fees, but course will be two years. So there will be huge opportunity for students. Uh, they will pay only one year tuition fees and they'll get two years education in UK. Okay, so Ajay, I want to ask about one thing, about the professional course. I know that for professional course, there is some special requirement. 
So would you please explain that for this professional course, is there any special requirement? Uh, not actually. Uh, for all our uh, master's courses, we don't uh, like uh, ask for any sort of experience or previous uh, background, experience background. So fresh graduate, uh, fresher, uh, they can apply directly. Uh, only uh, one option we have. So viewers, uh, in the meantime, uh, got lots of comments. So we want to, I think, otherwise add with us. Uh, yes, uh, there was some uh, technical problem. Uh, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. So Ajadha, uh, you're telling about that the professional course, their uh, experience, there's no experience need for the professional courses. Yes. So on mm -hmm. our viewers uh, asking a question, Muhammad Zahiru Lamin, what about MBA courses? Is there any experience required for MBA? So uh, normally our MBA courses is friend, uh, can come from any background or any courses they completed before. Our MBA courses requirement is quite flexible. <clears throat> we don't need any sort of experience for our MBA and uh, fresher graduate anyone can apply with the bachelor CGPA 2.5 out of four and uh, the IELTS requirement is overall six, not below 5.5 .5 in each band. So this, these are the basic requirement for our MBA. I think that's really very flexible compared to other university. For the MBA program student. So what is the tuition fees for this MBA program? So uh, our our MBA program tuition fees is 14,000 and uh, that is all together. And uh, if anyone uh, wants placement here, then there will be a little fees for a placement if they got the placement, uh, that is 1,800 pounds. So, uh, for a scholarship, you know that for Bangladeshi student, that's very crucial things about a scholarship. So would you please uh, specify something that what kind of a scholarship are offering by Cardiff Metropolitan University? So, so I'm 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 telling a uh, scholarship and fees uh, together that uh, viewers uh, can understand well. Our, uh, our uh, tuition fees is uh, currently our tuition fees is our foundation. We have, we do foundation, our direct foundation we have. Our foundation fees is one year, that is 9,250 pounds for our foundation year. And the bachelor fees is flat for all courses. It's uh, 12,500 pounds per year, bachelor courses. And our master's courses, normal master's courses is 13,500 for our master's courses. But for MBA, our fees is 14,000 one. So our uh, scholarship, uh, we have a very good uh, scholarship for our uh, Bangladeshi or South Asian students. Uh, that is uh, for foundation, we are offering a 1200 pound scholarship uh, and it's fixed for Bangladeshi or any South Asian student. They got wh whoever will get the offer, they will get this scholarship. So their uh, tuition fees then will be very, very cheaper. I can say uh, it's uh, 8,050 pound only. So I can say it's a uh, compared to other private providers and other university, almost 50%. The foundation yeah, fee it yeah. will be. And our uh, bachelor scholarship is altogether, the student will get uh, 3,600 scholarship over three years. So each year student get, will get 1,200 pound scholarship for our bachelor program. And masters, we have two types of scholarship. First is vice chancellor scholarship and second is international merit scholarship. So our vice chancellor scholarship is 1500. Whoever uh, got the offer, they will get obviously this offer, 1500 pound. And uh, those students will have a CGPA three or more in their bachelor courses or bachelor degrees. They will get the international merit scholarship, which is 3000 pound. So uh, we have very, very uh, like a good option for a scholarship. And uh, if a student got the merit scholarship 3000, then their uh, tuition fees will be altogether 10,500 or for MBA. It will be 11,000. So I can say it's very cheap compared to other uh, like universities in UK. Yeah, definitely. So in this slide, we can see that there's two types of scholarship we're providing some general scholarship, and in the meantime, we're providing some merit scholarship also for the merit students. So that's really great for them. So, uh, Ajit Bhai, uh, we want to know that uh, about the entry requirement, we know that that is the basic thing that viewers want to know for the foundation, UG, and masters. What is the basic? Entry requirement. So uh, <clears throat> our entry requirement as well are very flexible and minimum as like tuition fees. So our foundation, I'm starting from foundation. Our foundation entry requirement uh, is uh, we need uh, 
GPA three in higher secondary certificate HSC, GPA three, or uh, we need a five GCSE uh, minimum uh, C, and uh, with one A level scores or two A scores to qualifying our foundation course. And uh, one for foundation course, our highest requirement is UKVI four point five and not below four in each bank. And uh, and on the other hand, uh, we are running uh, Foundation Plus uh, undergraduate joint course as well, uh, which will be uh, four years. Uh, then the academic record requirement will be same, but the house requirement will be overall six and not below 5.5. If anyone wants uh, to Foundation Plus bachelor joint case or four years degree jointly. And uh, obviously our undergraduate course, uh, our requirement is uh, a GPA four in uh, HSC. And, uh, or those students will come from English medium background, uh, they need uh, two A-level courses at least for qualifying our bachelor courses. And uh, the English requirement, it will be overall six, not below 5.5 in each band. Another uh, interesting thing is that uh, those students uh, will come from English background or English medium background, like all levels, A-levels. So those students will get uh, C in all levels will waive uh, their IELTS requirement. So they will have good option in here. Uh, so go for without IELTS. And for postgraduate courses, uh, we need four years bachelor degree with CGP 2.5 out of four from any recognized university in Bangladesh. And the IELTS requirement is overall for maximum courses or most of the courses we need overall six, not below 5.5. So we can see here our requirement is very, very flexible in terms of uh, like courses or uh, like other universities. <clears throat> yeah, definitely for master's course, we know that the maximum requirement of the university is 6.5. Yeah. Over 6.5, yep. minimum six. But cardiometry will not quite in five bands less, and that is, I will tell you that there's a big opportunity for them. So uh, I want to know that uh, in this situation, you know that, that IRS exam is a little bit tough tough for the students. Yeah. So are you taking any alternative of IELTS right now? Like Duolingo or Uh It's like uh, not confirm yet which uh, which test or which alternative we are taking at the moment. Uh, still university management team, they are deciding. But if anyone has any alternative test score or result, they can submit their application to us or they can forward me the application or documents and we can assess we can make a decision we'll take it or not but hopefully the TOEFL is uh, acceptable pt is acceptable hopefully dolingo uh, dolingo will be acceptable as well as uh, we can see most of the uk university they are accepting uh, not only most of the uk uh, as well the other countries universities they are accepting exactly. this result as well so hopefully our university yeah, yeah. will accept that <clears throat> Okay, so uh, can you take a question from the viewers? Ah, uh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Please carry on. Okay, so uh, Asif Shikdar is asking that is there an internal English language test? Ah, uh, yes, uh, we have an internal English language test uh, that is providing or offering by third party. That is G E T S. Uh, it's called, and uh, we are not providing that that internal test for South Asian students at all. Uh, previously we did, but this test is very, very hard compared to IELTS or rather than other courses, uh, other tests. So that's why we're uh, not interested to provide that course in Bangladesh or in South Asia. <clears throat> okay. so, uh, another question. I think a uh, lot of people asking about this thing that on campus job opportunities facilities. So yeah, yes, uh, obviously we have a uh, very few on campus job opportunities opportunities in a cafes or support center or uh, libraries but that will be very few and there will be big queue uh, whenever a student wants to do one campus job uh, like part-time job that student wants a student need to contact with their career or the relevant department center that they're interested to uh, apply for their part-time job and they can submit their CV obviously there will be big queue Okay, and uh, the out campus job opportunity, if I can say, uh, Cardiff is a very, very modern city and it's a capital city. And uh, hopefully, it's the top uh, within the top 10 in uh, Europe uh, with the, among the capital cities. So, uh, there is very, very 
a good option for part-time job for our students. Uh, we can see previously those students uh, went or uh, joined uh, in our university. They got job within two, three weeks after going there. So job is very much uh, available in Cardiff area. <coughs> Okay, so uh, another question that I think that is very common question for Bansi student. How long gap is it actually you accept? How do you accept? So for uh, foundation, we don't accept any gap. It has to be uh, like within one year. More than one year, we don't accept for foundation. And for bachelor, somehow we accept the highest two years gap, but uh, he or she has to be submitted the proper documentation why he has two years gap or he has to be in a running uh, student in somewhere in university or colleges. For masters, we accept uh, like uh, not more than five years gap. So if, uh, if any student completed their bachelor in uh, 2016, then we take those students, but before 15, we normally don't accept that application or that student. Only particular few courses we have uh, that we can consider like more than five years gap. That is like applied public health, occupational health and safety, biomedical science. There's some uh, few courses and uh, as well some sports courses, sports management courses. So we take like a longer gap, but in general courses, highest five years we consider. Okay, so uh, I just I want to ask that. Uh, for the study cap, okay. So you are the international officer, actually. So you know very well. We agency we try to provide the information as much as we know to the students. So, so today you are in the studio. So that is the chance for them. For the personal yeah. statement, do you look for any kind of special things in the personal statement that could be helpful for the students while they are uh, writing in personal statement? So uh, I cannot share your question properly. Can you repeat it, please? Uh, for personal statement, I will look for a specific point or a special things uh, you want to mention that we should, this student should improve while writing a personal statement or should mention clearly. So obviously, uh, only the academic and IELTS requirement is not uh, the only thing to accept it for the program. The personal statement, it plays always a vital role. I can say more than 60% uh, the role playing for the personal statement to accept it for that process. So we are looking at what actually is student's intention, what he has previous uh, education or skills or uh, knowledge and uh, what, what sort of uh, job knowledge or work experience he has and what he will do after uh, finishing his uh, graduation or master's or bachelor. Uh, so what, what actually his intention mainly, you know, in the future goals. So all these three or four points we mainly looking for in personal statement, and it's to be, it has to be like a like well organized written, you know, more informative. Okay, thank you. Uh, so for the viewers, I want to tell you that the TCL Global, you know that that is UK based consultancy firm is in Portsmouth, and we have office in Saudi Arabia, Kuwait. Now we have office in Bangladesh. You know, we have two office in Dhaka and Silek. So for Bangladesh students, if you have any queries, you can visit our office physically after the lockdown, right time, just to stay at home. And for any queries, we have the contact number showing in the scroll and we have the email address. You can contrast with the email address also. And I also want to mention you that very soon, we're going to launch virtual education fair. So it will be welcome for everyone who can contact with us for the virtual fair, the council of uh, international officer of different university will be there. So you can contact with them. We will arrange the spot admission. So just stay tuned with Tissel Global all time. We'll be updated to very soon and very shortly. So Ajat Bhai, so a uh, different question. I think if we go for information for information, sometimes it may be boring for the viewers. So as we know that you are also graduated from your experience, is there any difference from that time and this time for the UK study? So uh, obviously UK is uh, one of the best place to uh, live and uh, to study for Bangladeshi students. Not only Bangladeshi students, like uh, from all over the world, student is going uh, to study over there. And uh, the thing is that uh, UK and uh, is very user friendly. 
because all most of the cities uh, they are very user friendly and uh, like it's the uh, student will not feel like uncomfortable rather than like some australia or usa there is like long distance the shop uh, they cannot find the shop in uh, nearby or uh, like a very less people living there but in uk it's not like that is feeling very comfortable and uh, most of the people uh, they are very cooperative in uk so when i started there uh, that time was the different situation i went there in a recession time and uh, that time uh, like there was a uh, very few job opportunity over there and we struggled a lot and uh, hopefully we survived and uh, and now nowadays the difference i don't think so there will be not that much difference you know like uh, they are already developed country and uh, their system they have like well uh, organized system so they are mainly everything they are running on systematically you know so i don't think so there will be mass uh, or massive changes this time but one thing is going to uh, like uh, feel when i started there that time lots of international student was there but this time very limited student is there and there will be very few competition or less competition for job and any any other things in it so they will they will feel like a more comfortable this time student over there yeah we know that in bangladesh there is a very uh, scenario commerce you know that they are looking for usa canada australia but very few choice for uk but as uh, from my point of view actually i i think that the uk education system and standard is more higher than the other mm -hmm. Country's education system, so that could be the one very great reason for the interest for the UK. I, I think so. Uh, the accommodation system that is a very important thing for the students then when they leave there. So, would you please uh, specify something about the accommodation on campus and off campus? So yes, uh, thank you. Uh, this is a very good, good point and good question. Uh, so we have we have very good uh, accommodation facilities in our campus. We have more than thousand accommodation rooms for our uh, students. Uh, that is national students, uh, European and international, both while they are living together. And uh, our accommodation cost is very cheap as well. So, if a student wants to go for our uh, university accommodation hall, then they have to pay uh, at least four hundred and seventy pound per month, inclusive of all bills. <clears throat> okay, and uh, all of our accommodation facilities is uh, surrounding the campus. Okay, uh, even uh, even most of the accommodation uh, buildings uh, within our campus, yeah. so they don't need to travel uh, far away uh, from uh, accommodation to university campus. Yeah. So they can work and they can join their classes within five minutes. So that that will be another good, very good option. And uh, if a student wants to uh, live privately in private hall, uh, we have that option as well, and the cost will be a little bit more. It will be six hundred and eighty pound per month, inclusive of all bills. And the, another part is the, like privately rented house or accommodation. If a student wants to go for privately rented accommodation, uh, that will be more suitable for Bangladeshi students compared to cost. You know, as I mentioned before uh, on the beginning, that Cardiff is the most cheapest city, student city in UK, and uh, I can say number one cheapest city in UK for students. So if any students uh, wants to uh, go for privately rented room or house, then uh, like somehow in a big room or in a standard room, live uh, one bedroom, a student, two students can occupy and they want to live there. So hardly they have to pay 200 pound or 250 pound, highest 250 pound. They can uh, they can uh, like maintain their all costs, you know, including accommodation, uh, living cost, including food, including uh, travel cost, including bills. So very cheap is there and if a student wants to stay uh, like privately rented accommodation, our accommodation department, uh, they have a very uh, good team to support our international students. So we have uh, some uh, good policy for our international students, uh, mainly for uh, South Asian students. If a student wants to choose a privately rented accommodation and uh, if they wants to stay five or seven days or highest 10 days, so we can arrange for them like temporary accommodation even in our accommodation building you know from our university so and our university personnel or accommodation department can help those students to find out their rooms or house so we have a uh, lots of known 
landlords or you know you can say the agencies collaborating with us so we can refer them easily and they will accept their uh, or their they will be interested to provide like a contract to our students directly so here will be very very good option for our students they don't need to worry about where they will stay primarily they don't need to look for their friends or family members or relatives where they are or in a hotel so we can provide them five to ten days temporary accommodation facility this educate okay so Ajay, i would mention something about the transport facilities airport facilities i'm uh, asking like that for comparing to london the color how closest to london and how closest to other city just a little bit a concept to, for the students so uh if I can say like transport cost uh, in a Cardiff area, so our university is located in like in it's the middle of the city, in the main uh, middle of the cities, and we have uh, three campuses currently uh, in Cardiff area. So in Cardiff city, the travel mainly people depends on bus. So there is various road uh, buses uh, going on going there, and uh, it takes only. Uh, 25 to 30 minutes uh, so going each corner of city to another corner so uh, it's very easy to go anywhere in the cardiff city within 30 minutes and the bus passes unlimited bus passes for a month it cost only for the students is 30 pounds so it's very cheap over there for a uh, travel cost and uh, the distance from the other city and uh, from uh, cardiff or from our university so first of all uh, from london it takes only two hours uh, by train and uh, it uh, not so far i can say uh, only two hours journey by train from london and from birmingham as well it takes only uh, two hours and from manchester if uh, if anyone wants to travel in manchester it takes three hours by train and the more closest city like nearest city is bristol it takes only 40 minutes by train so, uh, is there any international airport in cardiff Ah uh, yes, uh, there is an international airport in uh, Cardiff City, but uh, I don't think so. From Bangladesh, there will be direct flight, but uh, students have to be take connecting flight, or they have to travel fast in uh, London, and uh, after that they can travel by train to Cardiff. Okay, so uh, can we try to show another video of Cardiff? Ah uh, sure, I can. I can. I can try with the video. It, it works this time. So just wait. <coughs> I want to ask last few questions to you like that for the NOI certificate. You know that uh, is there any My policy? Name is Sanya, in your and I have moved in the UK in London. Sorry, sorry, second point. Let's get that. Uh, I'm asking you that are you accepting MOI certificate for Bangladeshi student? I didn't get. I didn't get it. MOI, medium of instruction. Okay, medium of instruction. Uh, no, we don't accept uh, medium of instruction at all uh, from South Asia, uh, mainly for Bangladeshi students. We don't take MOI. So obviously, I we need IELTS or alternative sort of test to uh, get the like unconditional offer. And in this kind of situation, is there any policy about the reference letter or recommendation letter? You know, that so everyone recommendation is letter. Thing. Obviously, we need we need one recommendation letter from uh, employer or the academic faculty. And if anyone uh, don't have uh, right now the 
like reference letter or IELTS. So they can contact with uh, TCL Global directly, the students. Uh, you guys can contact with uh, TCL Global and uh, you can submit their papers with them and they can apply. And obviously we'll look at and we'll issue the conditional offer first. Whenever uh, the possible uh, to provide that document, then after that, the student can provide uh, easily to us. Okay, that's it. So, uh, do you want to share something about this COVID-19 situation for the students? Do you have any advice for them? <clears throat> so, uh, yes, uh, I will. I will suggest a student, uh, please uh, contact with TCL Global with your documents and submit your application for your desired courses. Again, don't delay. Just submit your application with TCL Global and secure your scholarship soon because we have uh, some certain uh, limitations for scholarship uh, as uh, this is granted scholarship for Bangladeshi students and we have some certain number that we can produce this scholarship. So uh, don't delay. Just submit your application, whatever you have the documents uh, with us, and we'll uh, look at and we'll issue the conditional offer. Okay, that's great. And so for the viewers, I hope you enjoy the session today with us at Cardiff Medical University. And uh, last of all, I want to add that, you know that in this situation, actually that is the time we have to help the others. They're actually in the needful situation. And you know that TCL Global, they have a sister concern, TCL Global Care. We're trying to help these uh, people who are very need, uh, needful in that time. We're also trying to help the international students of Portsmouth. So we're trying our best and we hope you also step ahead to help as much as possible for these people. And we also hats off to those real heroes, you know that the doctor, nurse, and the armed forces, they really uh, trying their best to give the protection for us. So please cooperate with them and stay tuned with TCL Global, stay at home. And last, I think other we can uh, show them some student experience video. Uh, yes, and, uh, we have uh, we have uh, we have some interest. Uh, Bangladeshi students uh, interview session with the Cardiff Met, and uh, we can our viewers can uh, see that video as well. So uh, finally, uh, viewers uh, try to stay home with your beloved family members and stay safe. Uh, I can say if uh, if not needed, then don't go outside. So uh, thank you viewers, uh, just uh, please uh, see our uh, videos and here uh, it will be the our session. Thank you. Okay. And, and thank you Ajit for joining with us this, in the session. Thank you very much. So viewers, the videos is for you from Mr. Ajit. 50, I is very expensive for me. Sakiba, it's working? Uh, no, it's not showing in the screen. Been here, I feel like yes, oh, we can hear only yeah. audio. There's no video. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is my place to study. I advise, but my name is it's it's working now. Yeah, it's okay. also in UK in London 2015. I thought it's really expensive for me in London, and then I resourced and I went to college. At first, I attended the open day, and then whenever
few companies to improve as well. So yeah, it's really interesting. And critical, you have to think critically, and you have to find big companies to find. So it's not yeah. So I really love it. I use the city, and then you can get find everything together. If you want to go to that shop, you can find it very quick, and then it's more city. So you don't need to find everything. It can save you time. You can get everything together. The car is the most accessible places for students because you can get your job, whatever you do, food hours job. You can find very quick in here. And then for accommodation cost, it's cheaper in here. Coming from here. And then, yes, yeah, that's the place you can make your dream in here. That's it. So, uh, thank you viewers for joining with us for this session. And if anyhow, if you miss this session, so don't worry, there is our number, contact number, you can contact with us, or you can email us, admission at talikmas.co.uk, and after lockdown, you can visit us, DAC office or CLET office. And I want to ensure that this global is working with 70 plus university right now. That's the user university, I believe. Uh, any other agency is working with right now. And most importantly, we have an expert counseling team, visa compliance team, and we have totally free of charge. We don't take any charge from the student for any of service. And you know that we have our own pickup system when the student arrives to the UK. So we try to arrange the system. We also try to help them as much possible for their part time job. So please stay tuned with our channel, Digital Global Boundary Spaces. And hopefully next day we'll come again with another session. So stay tuned. And very soon we'll update you about our virtual fair. And hopefully, Azadbhai, we hope that you'll also join with us the virtual fair. Inshallah. So thank you again for joining with this session. And thank you, viewers. I hope you enjoyed the session. So thank you, Sakib Bhai, and thank you, uh, mainly the TCL Global team for inviting me here as a guest. And thank you, viewers for staying with us. Thank you. Okay, thank you everyone. Thank you. Stay home and stay safe.